is the first video under the lesson simple harmonic motion a simple harmonic motion is a back and forth motion performed by a particle against a varying resistive force so it is a kind of oscillation let's say along this horizontal line i have a particle connected to a string when i stretch the string its natural length is l now i can stretch the string further because it is an elastic string now i have stretched the string this was its equilibrium point then this additional length to which i have stretched is called extension denoted by x because of this extension there will be the resistive force created which is the tension in this case this resistance force tension is equivalent to m omega square x m is the mass of the particle omega is the angular velocity x is the extension so these are constants this one we have to calculate to calculate omega you will be given certain information those things will be discussed using a worked example from second video now we are going to obtain the characteristic equation of a particle performing simple harmonic motion for that we have to apply newton's second law of motion f equals ma to right hand side then t is acting in opposite direction minus t is equal to mass into acceleration what is the acceleration displacement to particle from this point equilibrium point is x when we differentiate x by time we get x dot to find acceleration i have to differentiate velocity x dot again by time then i get x double dot which is the acceleration then here from th theory we know t is m omega square x or we can cancel m and m and obtain the characteristic equation which is x double dot equals minus omega square into x so this is what we call as the characteristic equation of any simple harmonic motion then the second equation is velocity equation v square equals omega square times amplitude square minus x square let's say there is a particle performing simple harmonic motion like this somewhere here the particle is traveling with a velocity v from characteristic equation let's say we have already found its angular velocity omega velocity omega square is known x is the separation of this particle from center of its motion this is x x is the separation of the particle from center if we know these three things we can find the amplitude of this simple harmonic motion amplitude is the extreme point of this motion that amplitude is equal to both sides last equation is derived from period capital t period of simple harmonic motion is 2 phi over omega 
25 is the total angle covered. We can convert this kind of a simple harmonic motion or an oscillation into a circle. Total angle covered by a circle is 25. When we divide the total angle covered by its angular velocity, we can get time. Then for a particular simple harmonic motion, we also can find the angle covered by that particle. When we divide that angle by its angular velocity, we can find the time taken by that particle to complete the given path. Let's say we have a vertical string of natural length L. After that, we are going to connect a mass of M to this end. Then definitely it's going to extend. Then there is a tension. From equilibrium, we can say this tension is equivalent to weight. And also this tension is equivalent to lambda extension over natural length. What is this lambda? It is the modulus of elasticity. Modulus of elasticity. Modulus of elasticity is a constant which will be given in the question. Then consider a spring spin can be given like this hanging vertically downwards or vertically upwards let's consider vertically hanging downwards so when we connect a mass it will extend like this mass m weight is mg this is the equilibrium level this extension is x then there is a tension acting upwards that tension is equivalent to mg if this mass is in equilibrium if not we can't use this you have to read the question carefully but in any case this tension is equivalent to k times x now here k is spring constant that is a constant for a spring then what is the constant for a string that is modulus of elasticity. Now what is the application of this equation T equal angle of omega. Let's consider a particle of mass M is performing a simple harmonic motion while connected to a string, elastic string. Its natural length is L. After connected with the mass, it extends up to a distance x. And also we can pull this mass further down. Then the mass going to start its simple harmonic motion from a certain calculation we have to find its amplitude that calculation will be discussed from my second video using a question so for this explanation I will just take that amplitude as capital A so this capital A amplitude will be to upward as well. So this is the extension. Then we have to find the center. So let's say the center is this location. Then this amplitude downward is there to upward as well. This is the 
oscillation. In questions, they ask the time taken by this particle m to complete one full oscillation or sometimes to calculate the time taken to reach some other point in this motion. Then we have to draw an arc obtaining the center of simple harmonic motion and starting from amplitude. We know the opposite amplitude here it is this then I can complete my arc like this it will be a semicircle let's say the center of motion is this then the amplitude is somewhere here a naught then it is clear this amplitude is more than the natural length of the string then it will move down and again it will pass equilibrium location to hit the ceiling because there is no space to complete an amplitude in upward motion then it is not a semicircle like this then it will be just an arc then this is the most important thing along this arc we have to find the starting point which is this and finishing point is this ceiling level then the angle covered by this particle is this let's label that as theta sometimes you have to label this angle here that is according to the question for this explanation I will label that angle here the angle covered by the particle is theta how did we get that we have to complete an arc starting from one amplitude and continue like this if you know the finishing point you can join that like this here it is just theta then when we divide that angle by omega we have the time time taken by the particle to reach from here to here time taken by this particle to reach this location starting point finishing point what is the angle you have to divide that angle by omega then you have time so from these five equations you can complete whatever problem given under simple harmonic motion.